So in this video, I am going to continue with the smoothing tool, but I'm gonna use something called soft selection. And if you're a 3D modeler already and you use programs like Maya or Cinema 4D or any of the more powerful 3D modeling programs, you'll know what this is. But if you don't, stick with me and I'll show you exactly how powerful this tiny little feature is. So soft selection is available in most 3D programs and it's the ability to have a fall off or an area of effect as you're working on a brush. The easiest way for me to show you is to show you. So I'll just go ahead and use the same ahead as last time. I've put a floor on um, just to give you a little bit of a reference. Uh, it doesn't really matter whether you have that or not. So we'll take the model that we've made in the last video. If you don't know the last video, then obviously it's up above. Have a look at that. To, to show you how to use the smooth tool. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up the head in a grip and we're just gonna use the blue button, activate it so we can now work on it. And now, if I do what I've done up until this point or in the previous video, I can just, with my little area of effect, I can move the points around. I can push it bigger, making the area of effect over these points larger and then pull down to tighten and that's smooth. That was all explained in the last video. But what if I want to be a little bit more subtle than that? And maybe there's a lot of points in one area like this eye and we were having some difficulty with how much detail was in that eye. So in there, what we want to do is just affect one little point, but have it for the fall off of the effect going down to some of the other ones. So say for example, if I did all of that, it would move that entire corner and that's too much. So what I want is soft selection. To call it, I'll just back out and show you. You just simply press on your inner grip, like so. You can see it activating. And as you're holding it, if you then, this is why I wanted to put the floor because you might be able to see it a bit better. While I'm holding it, if you now pull down with your a thumbstick on the dominant hand, you'll get a small sphere and, the, and that's inside your grab sphere. So, for example, if I push forward with my thumbstick, the sphere goes bigger. But then if I hold my inner grip and pull down, the inner sphere gets smaller. Now this does take a minute to get your head round, so don't be worried if you don't get this straight away. So we're gonna go in here and you can see that I've got the inner and the outer sphere, but it's a little bit too big, the inner sphere. Now, if you try and do it while you're here, nothing happens, it just smooths. You have to come off the model then hold the inner grip and then pull down or push up. If you don't, if you do it on the model, it's not gonna work. Now, if you can see there, my inner sphere is really tiny and the grab sphere is large. So if I now pull like that, I've got a really nice soft selection. And now if I pull down, I've got a smooth and a soft selection. And that allows me to get really, really nice detail. And again, I, I don't see a lot of people uh, learning this feature or, or taking the time to learn it. So it, it, it's a great one for subtle changes to the model. So it's the smooth tool on steroids or, it, or it's, your, your, you know, it's an ability to improve the way we tweak a model. Um, and again, if you want to change it, I'll do it again. Put, come up to the outside, hold the inner grit and push up and down and that increases or decreases the area of effect of the, of the soft selection like so. It works on a number of modes, so it'll work on the edge mode just the same. So if you wanted to, to, to do it on all of these as edges instead of vertices, come down to the side, in a grip, pull up and down, and you'll see now you're tweaking and smoothing, if you want, by pulling down the edges instead of the vertices. And this will improve your final models, subdivision models that is, immensely because you'll get much 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 nicer detail um, you know you're able to do really subtle tweaks to, 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 to the model as you're working so again take your time with it the big thing to remember the big takeaway for the video is you can't do it while you're on the model you have to have it activated but then set it off the model like so